Hello, this is Berhane Selassie, the Orthodox Catholic One. Today's video is called The Quran Mistakes a Rabbi for God. Um, or I was, or I was gonna call it uh, the Quran quotes the Babylonian Talmud and thinks it's God speaking. Uh, now the time of the Quran was written, uh, Muhammad and his friends probably heard a lot of oral things that the Jews and Christians had to say and this was one of them. Uh, so anyway, in the Quran, uh, the chapter five, the Quran tells us the Islamic version of the story of Cain and Abel, and but doesn't use those names, but it's obvious it's talking about the sons of Adam in the previous verse, I think it's verse 29. And it adds, uh, and it implies it, or actually it says it's by God, it uses the word we, we decreed. It uses the what they call the plural, uh, uh, first person plural, the royal we. Uh, and, and it says uh, that it refers to Allah speaking. Uh, now here's the passage of the Quran in the Arabic. If you read Arabic, uh, you can go to the link there and you can read it for yourself. Uh, but here's the translation. Because of that, talking about uh, Cain k killing Abel, we decreed upon the children of Israel that whoever kills a soul, f unless for a soul or for corruption in the land, it is as if he had slain mankind entirely. And whoever saves one, it is as if he had saved mankind entirely. And then it goes on and says, and our messengers had entire, had certainly come to them with clear proofs. And it goes on and on. Uh, so anyway, that's in Quran 5, uh, 32. Uh, it's found in verse 31 in some, some of the older editions. It's uh, Surat la Maida. I think that's how it said. Uh, the table spread with food. And that's the Sahih International translation. Uh, anyway, here's Ibn Kathir. He applies it to Muslims. It says, Said bin Jibyar, however you pronounce it, Jabayir said he who allows himself to shed the blood of a muslim is like he who allows the shedding who allows shedding the blood of all people he who forbids shedding the blood of one muslim is like he who forbids the shedding the blood of all people and then it goes on and says uh and it goes on about that that's even kathir uh so anyway it's interesting it only applies to muslims <laughs> If you shed the blood of a Muslim. Um, anyway, um, so the Quran is mistaken since it says we decree. Speak, so it's God speaking. Uh, but the problem is the Quran is largely plagiarized. And in this case, it's plagiarized from the Babylonian Talmud, actually the Mishnah to be precise, um, which actually is around the year 200, edited by a man named uh, Yehuda Hanasi, uh, which would be the head of the Sanhedrin, uh, Judah, the, the president, or whatever you want to call the Nasi, the prince. And, and it's not part of the Holy Bible at all. It's just a Jewish commentary on the Bible, it's talking about Jewish laws and stuff like that. It's the writing of Jewish rabbis after the temple fell. And uh, he was quoting earlier rabbis, Judah Nasi, who lived about the year 200. Anyway, uh, the Talmud from in Sanhedrin. 37a, the Nishna, Mishnah section, uh, reads the following, and you can see the Hebrew text right here. If you read Hebrew, uh, here's the Hebrew text, uh, Sanhedrin 37a. Anyway, here's the English translation. <coughs> it talks about uh, the bloods of thy brother cried out unto me, uh, which is similar to what the Quran says, but it doesn't actually have this quote. Uh, but anyway, it goes on and says, it talks about the blood, and it says, For this reason was man cried, created alone, to teach thee that whoever, whosoever destroys a single soul of Israel, Scripture imputes guilt to him as though he had destroyed a complete world. And whoever preserves a single soul of Israel, Scripture as ascribes to him as though he had preserved a complete world. Uh, also notice that the word Israel is missing in a lot of those texts. Uh, so it's pretty much identical to what the Quran says. The Quran just adds a little bit in substance. It's saying the same thing, and it's not God speaking. It is a Jewish rabbi. So this Jewish rabbi, the Quran, has elevated to Allah himself, which is ironic because uh, Muslims take Jesus, who was a Jewish rabbi, and said he was God, uh, and they say, well, he was not God. He was just a prophet. Uh, so they're doing the opposite. <laughs> with this rabbi, they're, they mistakenly thought he was God. And with Jesus, who is God, they just pretty much make him just a rabbi, a prophet rabbi. Um, but anyway, it's ironic.